Who wants to play you crazy peace lovers? This is non-guns, a game that involves a gun and you get points for shooting. Uh, this is roguelike in nature. Uh, it just came out a little while ago. Uh, I'm going to show off all the mechanics of this game before I start because this game tells you absolutely nothing and you actually have to figure it out as you go. Uh, the numbers taking up at the bottom uh, is my score. Uh, as you save these little troll looking guys in the levels, you constantly start getting points from them. I will show you that in a second. You also get points when you shoot your gun. That's what those white numbers are. So you can hear me jam on button. And that means I get more points. So this first room seems to be the room where you can save your items at. And it's how you build loadouts. Uh, since I didn't start a run yet, I can't add anything to my head, body, arm, pelvis, or legs. But I think, this is, I think you save... It seems like you can save the pieces you pick up in the coffins if you think you're going to die in a run. Uh, also, by talking more, I'm getting more money, so I can probably buy stuff as we go here. Uh, this is the demon shop. He goes like this, and he's like, you want to buy stuff for your next run. So, we're going to tap the button like crazy real quick. To get 2500 and I'll buy whatever this is. Uh, this gives me, it controls my bullet spread more, I believe. Uh, the well is where you come from where you die. Actually, does the well take you down these guys? The well takes you down these guys. Uh, so these are the little guys I saved so far. Uh, for every one you save, you constantly get one coin or one bullet point or whatever you want to call them as you go. I've saved 13, so I get a pretty uh, pretty decent uh, constant income coming here. Uh, you can jump, shoot, you can barrel roll, you can slide. Uh, LB also does something that I don't know what it does because there's not really instructions for this game for anything. Uh, all the items here you can dump your points into if you want to give yourself a new item. Like if I want the shotgun, I can dump my money into there. Uh, I don't have enough for to start turning pink, but they turn pink as you buy stuff. Uh, at first I thought this was upgrades, but I upgraded the, uh, the moose head all the way once and it just resets and gave me a moose head. So this is definitely items you can unlock as you go with your money. I think that's about all of the things before we start. Yeah, so this is, where, this is the start the run option. So we'll go in here now. So all you see is this. I can burn this for health back as we go. I'll probably have to do that as we go, so you'll see that. Uh, the skull is all the people you saved with names like Bonwora, Anadja, and Tatatora. I don't know what the names mean. They don't seem to mean anything. Uh, this is your stat screen, like if you ever played Bonding with Isaac. So you can see I have three points put into there. I'll assume like accuracy, bullet speed, bullet spread, uh, attack, critical attack, Life, critical attack percentage, up, all, I don't know, maybe this is speed, maybe this is roll faster, I don't know. Uh, the constant tweaking out of scream is part of the game, it's an interesting choice, uh, I think there's a reason why, I'll show you that after the one run that we'll try to do. So we're going to the spooky thing. And I want to point out, anything I tell you, I figured out by myself, because this game tells you absolutely freaking nothing. So we get in here, you know, start shooting things. Uh, you get the map right away. So the skull at the top is the store. The treasure chest is a treasure chest, like a big one. And then the red skull is the boss. I cannot for the life of me kill bosses. They are very hard in this game. So I always try to get the one before we fail. Uh, those humping fingers leave blood slime on the ground that burns you. That's why I'm trying to be hesitant at how quick I jump after them. <gasps> there we go. Uh, you can't jump down. So that's a little bit of a downer, some would say. Uh, in the bottom left, there's a combo meter. So see, for every kill, you can start getting a combo. Because your points are your money is your score. And you need score to buy new items. So when the room's not a real slow one like this, you can actually kind of get decent combos going and get a little show of points. Uh, the map shows you what door you're going to be going into. By uh, flickering. So here we go. So we're at two. Uh, if I get here a little bit quicker, we're at three. If I get down to these guys, four, five. See, combo keeps going. Right, that's the item, obviously. So I'll be there for a second. Uh, so this is probably more bullets and critical percentage up, I think. Uh, if you go out the window, which is the option I have now, that ends your run but keeps you alive. 
and you want to use that if you're doing bad, you want to go out and buy stuff. Uh, it resets the whole room, though, so that's kind of a downer. Uh, the, the first time, I thought, like, hey, this is a good way to, you know, you kind of stock up on items before you fight the boss. You can come reset yourself and go at, excuse me, go at it again. Uh, it's not something you can do, though. Uh, this game gives you the benefit of if you hold down select or back, or whatever you want to call it, it shows you arrows to where the next rooms are. Uh, I'm close to this rolling right one, so it's a little easier to tell. But when you're in a room that has... When you're in a room that has a bunch of entrances, you can see, like, the door is to the right, and that's towards the boss. There's also a window over there. Uh, there's a down arrow, there's an up arrow, all that. Uh, this guy in here is a little... Little trolls that we save. So we save the die roll on, and that'll get an extra, an extra dollar a second. That guy knocks you up in the air, doesn't actually hurt you. Just bumps you up in the air. So I'm not super concerned about him. He's there. Uh, this should be accuracy and fall f faster or slower? Feather falling it seems like he goes slower. But I just can't tell. Let's see if we go back to the stat screen here, you can see. Uh, some of these things have lines next to them now. Here are the stats, we, the perks we have so far. Ca talking kind of quick, but there's a lot of nonsense. That's right, so we're going to go to the shop. Uh, you have to learn the items. This is very Binding of Isaac-like, where if you don't know what the items mean, uh, they're kind of useless to you. But we're going to buy toothpaste. And we're going to buy peanut butter. So it seems like it adds to my jump, fall a little slower, some other shit in there. That's fine. It's all good. Like, watch. See, he just. I never noticed him combo me before, actually. That's no. Legs jump to fingers crawl. Uh, so, realistically, you'd want to. Already, you'd probably want to bounce out because I'm not doing so hot. But. I mean, the whole room starts over, so it's kind of pointless to start over because, I mean, it just resets. Which is kind of really kind of crappy. I'll be honest with you. It's one weird feature about this. Uh, see now I have some sort of animal's head on me, which I think gives you like head protection. Don't really know. Because again, read after me. You know what to say. Because it doesn't really show you anything. You just go. You just sense it out. Uh, I can probably say I didn't cheat at all to figure out how to play this. I just struggled my way through. At, at, at its base. Oh, we got lucky there. Uh, at its base, it's just a road bike. And I'm decent enough at those. If you've been to the channel before, you know, I've played a thousand of these at this point. I get the gist. Really, so, for example. So, if we go in here now, and I was like, hey, I don't want to jump a little bit higher and fall slower. Hold down A, burns the card, health goes up. And again, the accuracy, falling slower, don't want that, health goes up. So that's actually kind of cool. It's the, literally the only way you can heal yourself. Uh, I found that by, yeah, uh, you know, shit luck. But I figured it out. It does feel good to figure things out sometimes. Big slime guys aren't as bad as they seem. They're just trapping the slimes or things to come jack you up. Uh, shoot your way out. Like any good bullet tier would. So realistically, part of me too, I should be going back and... Uh, maybe going back to that shop. To try to buy some more items. I think that was like 4,000 points worth of stuff in there. So if I get a little bit closer, I actually probably will go back. This one goes down, and all the way around is going to be back up there. So we're going to go all the way back around. Uh, at least I'm going to give myself a fighting chance against the boss. He's very quick. My bullets do nothing against him, which is why I think you're supposed to do a couple runs to stock up for uh, items and defense. But that makes one run take 10, 15 minutes, and the payout is so minimum. Payoff? Payout? It's so minimum, that's not... At this point, I don't really find it worth it. It's just like, okay, well, I could go out there and not do shit, but, you know, I'm not, no, I'm not doing anything. I'm not progressing at all.
pretty much ruined it down here. I guess that's what the slide's for, so you can go like this. That's kind of neat. It's neat. Oh shit, spikes. No, 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 no. I realized I didn't make that jump. Alright, so this way we'll take us to the boss. I think our damage just went up. They're jumping, they're not jumping high enough for me to get down there. Uh, let's see. Screw you. Screw you. I think it doesn't look like attack right now I'm going to burn, because I don't know anything else is going to help me here. Uh, so one thing about this game, obviously, I hit pause, the timer's still going. Or the, the bank's still going, whatever's still going. So you can probably choose your way through this, and just sit here and burn hundreds of thousands of dollars before you start playing. But you only get one run to use it, so it's not going like to make that much of a difference either. Uh, need to get a parched. Here we go. Skullbang. That's his name. So, if you notice, if you look at his health when he's getting shot, we get a lot of movement on that bad boy. And he's gonna spit little flies out at me. And he's gonna mad dash at my cash. Nope, nope, nope. And it's over. See? Like, I really did almost no damage to him. And that's where we got, though. So I get four, I have saved 14 of those guys. So we get 14 bucks at a time. That's when you die. We'll call this Purgatory. Uh, if you're right, that takes you back into another run right away. You go up through the roots and the grass and the trees and the bushes. Come up. Oh, okay. That's where you come out of it, at your little tombstone. So you come back from the dead and you're like, hey, let's do this all over again. But same thing, like... You always start with your gun, which is why you always have that. But these are definitely the save, uh, save stuff. And again, come in here. Got nothing to do because I died and didn't bring anything outside to save it. But this is non-guns. Uh, I play a lot of roguelikes on this channel. I play a lot of roguelikes in general. I don't really like this one. I don't need to be handheld a lot, but I would have liked some guns as I went through this game and figured all the stuff out for myself. It's kind of rewarding that way, but it's also very frustrating when you're like, what the hell does all this do? Oh cool, I can upgrade things, and I dumped a lot of money, points, whatever, into one of the skulls before, and they really got, they really got nothing out of it, because so that was kind of crap. Uh, the weird thing too is, so you're like, okay, exit the game, so you hold down the little button, and then we're here. And you're like, oh, I can come over here and look at the guitar. And press buttons. Play the guitar. And you're like, what else can I do? Well, the computer's the game. So you come over here. You're like, oh, here's a lockbox of a password I can't figure out. Probably because I can't beat the game. I can't beat the first boss, so God only knows if I'll figure that out. I come over here and you're like, ooh, a telescope, what's this? They look at the telescope and nothing happens. Probably because I can't beat the first boss. And you're like, hmm, we will run the treadmill. That'll make me feel better about failing. And you try, and, you know, try to jam yourself over here. I'm like, we run walking the treadmill. But buttons don't do anything either. So you're like, fuck, get off the treadmill. And then finally, you're like, hmm, what's this? This looks like a bed. And that's the end of the game. <laughs> but if you, like, <laughs> if you like this video, you know, feel free to like and subscribe. It helps me out. If not, I will love you the same either way. Just remember that that was non-guns, the peace lovers game, even though there's not a lot of violence in it. Uh, thank you for watching as always. I will see everyone next time. Lates.